thought as related to health. You are right. Healing is taking place. In other words, your existence is moving on, fuller and richer than you have known before. It all adds up to this. You are accepting that mind which knows nothing about human ailments. You know the Almighty has that kind of mentality. His understanding is so profound, Scripture has it, that he is of purer eyes than to behold iniquity, that he looks through difficulties such as yours and sees reality. Well, the same understanding is yours, because his mentality is your mentality. There are not two mentalities in the world. Of course, you like to work and accomplish things. And of course, you have the ability to persevere. The world needs your fertile effort and will have it. We will keep a-going. The whole obstruction will be wiped out as you predict. No, it is not ignorance that is making your troubles. You are not ignorant or anything like it. On the contrary, you are competently enlightened because you have at your beck the omniscient mind. It is the only mentality there is. The things it knows are the only things you know, and it knows nothing about these distressing symptoms you mention. How, then, can you experience them? Well, really, you do not. Is not this grand? This very day you walk the high altitudes of peace and freedom. Presently you will be feeling the freer step and fuller breath. You are already there in that spacious realm of strength and assurance. The entire machinery of your being is operating faultlessly and uninterruptedly. There is no letting down in your system. You are well conditioned throughout. You can say, and every hour you are saying it understandingly, I am well and I know it. No inaction or overaction anywhere. Your entire territory feels the steadying power of mind. Do not study and try too hard. Be silent and even idle now and then. This gives the Lord a chance to speak to you and even to strengthen you. Your last letter just arrived. Doubtless, with your clear insight and comprehension, which amounts to prayer, you will get along alone for the most part. Anyone who argues that spiritual or right thinking is difficult should remember that there is only one kind of thinking going on, after all, and that is the sound and accurate thinking we are talking about. This must be the case, for there is only one mind, the divine mind. And there is only one kind of woman, and she is spiritual and therefore rightly minded. Meditation upon things of good report is for her the natural order of being. Much is said, you know, about mortal mind, mortal man, and material thinking. They are falsities, every one of them. And it is time we put them aside as sickly, enervating, and unworthy of consideration or credence. Then will they fade out. They come, if they do come, only because we condone them. One who exercises his prerogative to think philosophically becomes the master of adversity. And truly, man, in the likeness of his Maker, is incapable of material thinking or feeling, in which are included fatigue and depression. The invitation, 
Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, is still open. I am confident that the treatment you are getting will penetrate the mists and let in the light to the extent that you will see a better world and a better self. That better self is at hand. So is that better world. I would not worry too much about that subconscious mind or that mortal mind. There is one mentality, and it is so keen and balanced that it does not know anything about the difficulties you mention. And you have that mind. Therefore, you have the clarity of vision that can see through the troublesome illusions and fix its gaze on the grandeurs of reality. So be confident. You can walk this earth in peace and in dignity. You have no involuntary non-receptivity. You are open to the truth. You desire it. It will enter and take possession of you and set you free. What if you are now and then assailed by troublesome symptoms? Happily, you can always say to them, You have no intelligence, no animation, no occasion, no presence. The divine mind knows nothing about you. The divine mind is my mind and my only mentality. Therefore, I know nothing about you. Depart, you workers of iniquity. Put on a command performance. Do not be a sluggard. Be a hero in the strife. You have the authority to speak in this way, for the kingdom of God is within you. Hence it is that yours is the kingdom, the power, the authority, and the victory. Do not hesitate to make demands on the Almighty. Literally, He is in the midst of you. He enters every fiber of your being. No tempest can move or disturb you.